563. All right, so what we got to <laughs> do is we got to apply a second derivative test to find all relative extrema of f of x equals x squared over x plus 1 to the 1 half power. So we're going to do the first derivative first equals x plus 1 to the 1 half times 2x minus x squared times 1 half x plus 1 to the negative 1 half power all over x plus 1 to the 1 half square is going to be x plus 1. All right, the next step is we're going to factor out uh, x times x plus 1 to the negative 1 half power. So it's going to be that times 2x plus 2, because we factored out, it out, minus 1 half x all over x plus 1. And then we're going to do some simplifying. So we got x times x plus 1 to the negative 1 half times 3 halves x plus 2 all over x plus 1. All right, uh, next we're going to move this x plus 1 to the negative 1 half to the bottom. So we have a positive exponent. So it's going to be x times 3 halves x plus 2 all over. Now x uh, plus 1 to the, to the 1 half plus 1 is going to equal x plus 1 to the 3 halves power. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to factor out a 3 halves. So it goes 3 halves x times x plus 4 thirds all over x plus 1 to the 3 halves power. Then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, 3 halves x equal to 0 and x plus 4 thirds equal to 0. Then you get x equals 0 and negative 4 thirds. And you don't have to find the uh, denominator because it's going to be all reals. So then you're going to do the second derivative. F double prime of x equals, you get, what we did is uh, we factored out a 3 halves to make it simple for us. Times, now you're going to do the bottom, which is x plus 1 to the 3 halves times the derivative of the top. The derivative of the top is... Uh, we did, well, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, factor this back in, so it's going to be x squared plus 4 thirds x. So you're going to get 2x plus 4 thirds minus x squared plus 4 thirds x times 3 halves x plus 1 to the, negative, uh, to the positive 1 half power, because that's the derivative of the bottom, all over x plus 1 to the 3 halves squared is going to equal x plus 1 to the third power. All right, now we want to find the relative extrema. So find relative extrema. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to do f of 0 because uh, negative 4 thirds is not going to work since we can't have a negative in the radical. So it's just going to be 0. So you're going to do f double prime of 0 equals 3 halves times 0 plus 1 to the 3 halves power times 2 times 0 plus 4 thirds minus 0 squared plus 4 thirds times 0 times 3 halves 0 plus 1 to the 1 half power all over 0 plus 1 to the third power. Now, uh, all we got to know really is we got to know if it's going to be greater than or less than 0. So, 
this is going to be over 1 because 0 plus 1 third, to the third power is just 1. You have 0 times 0. I mean, no, you can have 1 uh, times 4 thirds. It's going to be positive and positive minus 0 because all this is going to cancel out. It just equals to 0. That means it's greater than 0. It's going to be concave up. Now, to find out what the relative minimum mi minimum is, you know it's going to be minimum because it's concave up, you're going to plug in 0 to the original problem. So you get 0 squared over square root of 0 plus 1. 0 is the numerator, so it equals 0. So you're you have a relative minimum at 0, 0. And that is how you do number 24. Bada bing, bada boom.